Hmm. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. It is 4.25 a.m. You guys have requested several times that you would like to see a full day of eating. I'm gonna show you what I eat, when I eat it. I think maybe showing what I do might be helpful because a lot of you guys, you know, you've, you've got lives, you've got jobs. None of us are gonna hang around our kitchen all day and prep every single meal as needed on demand. If that was our plan of attack, we're all gonna fail miserably. Uh, so having been in this for a number of years, I've developed a system. One of the most important things I do all day is to hydrate upon waking. I would not even think of consuming an ounce of food prior to doing this uh, when you're on an empty stomach. Well, number one, I've been uh, going the past seven, eight hours with nothing to eat or drink. Uh, my body wants hydration. When you're on an empty stomach, it's probably the time where you're gonna hydrate most effectively because the body doesn't have to separate the food you're eating from the fluid you're consuming. Uh, so it's just a direct shot to hydrate. That's what I'm gonna do first. Water is pretty much done. I saved a little bit uh, because that's what I'm gonna use to take my morning supplements. Uh, I guess we might as well get into that. I'm gonna take a one pack for all my vitamins, minerals, animal omega, fatty acids. Let's get out all the stuff for breakfast. Breakfast is gonna be five whole eggs, a cup of zucchini, a Portuguese roll, and because I'm recovering from injury, I'm gonna take 20 grams of hydrolyzed collagen that I'm gonna mix with about mm, six to eight ounces of orange juice. I fresh squeeze this stuff myself, you guys. You better appreciate that. As you can see though, key point here, guys, I try to make my life as simple as possible. Make things really, really efficient in the morning. All right, I'm not gonna be uh, you know, getting out veggies and chopping them up and uh, you know, making a big production about it. So I try to make things as um, you know, easy as possible, get it ready to go, don't wanna be wasting time. What's the number one reason you're not going to stay on your plan when it comes to diet? You don't have time. You don't have your food accessible and ready to go when you need it. So do everything you can to think ahead and have it ready to go. I guess the only thing I'm adding to it that I did not mention is one teaspoon of avocado oil that I'm gonna to use to saute the zucchini. Almost, almost ready. Watch this. Watch, watch me screw this up. <laughs> so fancy. I know you guys are crazy. You'll probably ask, Evan, is that wheat flour or white flour? so sick <laughs> it's white flour yep Evan is a bad guy boom here you have it meal one oh can't forget the ketchup never realized how many of you guys are opposed huh to some ketchup on eggs but that's meal one, five whole eggs, a cup of zucchini, a teaspoon of avocado oil, animal pack, animal omega, a Portuguese roll, uh, 20 grams of hydrolyzed collagen, and eight ounces of orange juice. Meal number one, 5 a.m. I'm gonna go eat this. Now that breakfast is done, it's time to train. It is 5.40 a.m. Again, a little bit later than I would normally get to this, but um, I'm gonna hit some shoulders. Time to train some delts.
can eat a meal and you don't even feel that meal. You you can go and train, literally walk out onto the floor and train immediately after. Even something as grueling as back or legs. Uh, and I became so accustomed to it uh, in, in prep that carrying it into an off season wasn't that big of a deal. And even now, All right, guys, that's a wrap for training. Shoulders are done. Uh, that was four supersets of shoulder presses with dumbbell side laterals and three supersets of dips with machine rear. Uh, pack up my food, shower, get dressed, and hop in the car. It's probably gonna be time for meal number two. So by 8, 8.30 to already have consumed two meals, that means that meal number three by noon is gonna be a piece of cake. Prepare to be amazed uh, because you're gonna see just how simple it is for me to pack my day's worth of food. Like I mentioned, this is minus my final meal, uh, which I do prepare when I get home. But otherwise, I pretty much got everything ready to go. And I'm gonna show you something that, you know, look, it's, it's nothing <laughs> high tech, it's nothing scientific, it's nothing genius, I assure you. Uh, but it works for me and it's worked for me for years uh, and it's enabled me to stay consistent and nail my diet day in and day out, week in and week out, for months at a time, for years at a time. So let me grab my food out of the fridge. Repetition is not something that you guys should be afraid of or monotony. And I truly, truly do believe that it is part of the bodybuilding lifestyle. Um, guys, three meals right here, each of them containing chicken and vegetables. One I'm gonna have an apple with, one I'm gonna have a pear with, one I'm gonna have a few rice cakes and some cashew butter with. There's that, That's what's gonna get me through from now until 5, 6 p.m. If I find myself hungry during that time, I'm gonna show you, you guys are gonna be with me, so you're gonna see firsthand, uh, but I keep a jug of animal meal with me at the office. If I need something to fill in, boom, I've got something high quality and fast that's going to uh, give me the macros I need on the spot. Another good thing about starting your day early and hydrating immediately upon waking, I'm already on my second bottle, about halfway through this one and a half liter. I've already taken down one and a half liters. So for me, hitting four or five liters a day, no problem. I'm going to put a fork in here. I'm gonna go shower, uh, get dressed, and I'm ready to leave. It's all about efficiency. Guys, I can't stress it enough. I know I harp on it, I sound like a broken record, but if you guys don't think ahead, if you don't prepare, if you don't have a system, you are going to fail. Uh, it doesn't have to be glamorous. You see my meals, they're basic, very simple. Chicken and vegetables, right? And I make up the other macros, just by adding to those, whether uh, whatever I need in terms of uh, carbohydrates, fats, super, super simple. Is it monotonous? Yes. Is it easy for me and does it work? Yes. I think a lot of times people get too caught up in thinking that every meal is gonna be wonderful and it has to be exciting and every single meal is gonna be different and it's very, very hard to do. If you can do it and you can pull it off and if you can stick to it, wonderful, um, good for you. For me, I accepted a long time ago that in order to make it all happen, monotony was gonna be uh, very much a part of the picture. All right, time to get to the office. It is just after 8.30. Uh, I'm going to now eat meal number two. I've gotten it down where I've uh, absolutely no problem putting this on my lap and eating as I go. I always laugh when people are like, oh, I don't have time to eat. If you can't walk and chew gum, 
is never gonna work for you. Then I'll be done with this well before nine. Then to have my third meal by noon, piece of cake. Whether you're eating five meals a day or six meals a day, if you have your third meal by noon, the rest is cake. So you gotta really, really do what you need to do to get those first three meals in by a reasonable time. For me, it's noon. All right, here we are. It is time for meal three. It is pretty much noon on the dot. Uh, it is another meal of seven ounces of chicken and a cup of veggies, steamed broccoli and cauliflower. Also, I have a sleeve of rice cakes that I brought in to replenish my supply. I keep a sleeve in my desk drawer at all times. And let's see, each rice cake is gonna give me 20 grams of carbs. Probably gonna put a tablespoon of cashew butter on each. I'll probably have two rice cakes, maybe three. Get crazy, you know. Um, you know, I was thinking about something earlier on the ride in. If you consume your first meal of the day super early and are able to consume your second one during your ride into work, you know, pretty much everybody's gonna have a certain amount of time allotted to eat lunch. So your first three meals of the day will have been consumed without cutting into any work time. Uh, then, you know, mid-afternoon, if let's just say the, the particulars of your work uh, did not allow for you to consume a whole food meal, I mean, I keep a tub of animal meal in the office, right, on my desk. All I need to do is put in a couple scoops of powder, some water, shake it up, slug it down. You could totally have a shake mid-afternoon. You could eat again on the ride home, and you could eat when you get home. So when people say, oh, I just, you know, I, I don't have time, and that's why I, I, I fail to adhere to my, uh, my diet, to my regimen, honestly, man, I think it's nonsense. So I think a lot of times people, I'm gonna be honest, I think they make excuses. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying, uh, you know, some people, maybe their particular situation isn't more difficult than others, but, all of us, if we want to make it happen, can absolutely find a way to do that. So I'm gonna eat right now. I'll get back with you guys at that time. Here we are now, meal number four. It's way, way later than I expected it to be. It's almost 4.30, um, but the afternoon was crazy. Just call after call, meetings. Um, all the more reason to get the meals in early in the day. Now, had I not done that, I'd be on meal number three right now rather than meal number four. And that's how things get screwed up. There's all the reasons in the world to get on your nutrition early in the day and your fluid intake early in the day. All right, this is my third one and a half liter bottle. Surprise, um, seven ounces of chicken and some broccoli and cauliflower and an apple. I'll be back in a little bit with the rest of it. All right guys, I'm finally home. It is almost six o'clock, and I'm gonna show you what I do for my last meal. And again, I try to keep everything as efficient and as simple as possible. Because, again, if anything is gonna derail my eating plan, it's gonna be a lack of efficiency. This last meal is gonna be pretty simple. Uh, I've got some ground turkey here, I've got some eggs. And I forgot to show it this morning, I apologize for that, but I set some rice in the rice cooker uh, and I have a timer on it, so I programmed it to be ready for when I got home. I uh, haven't checked it yet, but I'm assuming all is well there. Uh, the meal is simple. It's gonna consist of rice. This is gonna sound like a weird combination, <laughs> but I've got this hot sauce here. Um, it's actually Portuguese hot sauce. Um, it's unlike other hot sauce I've had. It's really, really delicious. I put some of this on it. I put some steak sauce on it. Really the only meal that I am cooking throughout the day is my breakfast. Well, I guess there's a little bit of cooking that I'm doing here. If you guys don't use a rice cooker, highly, highly recommend it. Uh, but it comes out perfectly every time in the rice cooker. Uh, so, do eight ounces. five ounces of ground turkey, cook a few eggs, heat that in the microwave a little bit. The rice is actually already warm. Mm. 
It comes out so perfect. Yes, I use pan and oil. It's not really the healthiest of the fats, but it's so convenient, it works well. If you guys are ever in a jam, I don't know, like my go-to meals, if I remember like I need something fast, there's not a lot of food in the house, I haven't had anything prepped, it's rice and eggs. You can hit all three macros, carbs, proteins, fats. It's pretty simple, easy to digest, delicious, and uh, you can cook it like that. The main thing, you guys gotta find a way to simplify it. Mass produce things, cook as much as you can at one time, make sure it's ready for you, have a system, and I'm gonna be honest, right? This is the same thing I ate last night, and the same thing I ate the night before that. Is it monotonous? Yeah, but it makes my life easy. And quite honestly, I love this. All right, we are good to go. Always when you're wearing a white shirt. Eggs on the top. Pack of animal omega and that's dinner. You know, it's one thing to spread all your food out on the counter and go, hey, here's a day's worth of food for me. Um, but it's another to kind of take you along with me, show you where it falls. Uh, just, and you know, I've had, I think, maybe a little bit of uh, some anecdotes to share along the way that I hope you found helpful. Guys, as always, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Stay tuned for more. Anything you want to see, please comment below. And uh, until next time, I'll see you guys.